Hey! We're both wearing purple. <laughs> King Triton. And this is just plain purple. Triber Banks. <laughs> Try to take me to the tri cleaners. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. I don't speak gay. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> sure. Okay. Um, where were we where were we doing with this? Oh, so we wore purple on accident. Yes. Like, yeah, it wasn't planned. But since we did, so we both ended up wearing purple, it's like, duh, we're super attuned. We're tuned into each other and into the divine. It is time to give you a reading. So what kind of a reading? Well, we were going to focus on, so 2016 has been... Oh, by the way, he's Be, be Still Intuitive, terribly accurate over here. Yes. So mm -hmm. um, for me, and I'm sure that a lot of you can relate to it, 2016 has been a year of letting go. I've also read on that it's also the year of the number nine. So this is all good. And it being the number nine, this makes sense because 2016 was just very relevant in a lot of people's lives as far as, you know, everything... Catastrophe. Disaster. There we go. Just say it. Just a lot of like... Discord. <laughs> heartbreak. Drama. Wow. <laughs> it sucked. It sucked. It was a shit show. A lot. Yes. Yeah. A lot of changes and changes don't necessarily mean that they're fun changes. Um, just a lot of... Lessons. Breaking down and literal or um, the crumbling of foundations. Um, so... A lot of shifting and shaping and whatnot, but, um, you know, if you've kept your head above that water, you, you're hopefully starting to see that it was all for the higher good um, to propel you in a... And if you haven't, way. or if you're, like, hopeful that next year will be better, great. Good for you. Law of attraction, that should work out. But, 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 if you haven't learned the lesson from 2016, that's what we're going to help you with. Yes. So... We're going to pull a card from this deck for each sign as to what your lesson was to help you understand. Like, sometimes we're like, oh my gosh, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks, this was horrible. I'm trying to be positive and attract good things into my life, but I don't understand why all of these horrible things are happening to me in 2016. Hopefully this will make it clear what your lesson was if you don't already know. Okay? And maybe your lesson was you just kept saying it sucks, it sucks, it sucks, because then that's what you're pulling in is, well, it's going to suck. Yeah. Because the universe is unbiased and whatever you put out there, even if you're just like, gosh, I'm so pretty. Jamie, I'm like really pretty. And that's well, why he's so pretty. He says that every day, all day. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Well, we're going off these cards. We are. And we're going to use those four. Um, yeah. What was the lesson? And then in 2017... How, what can we do, you know, in order to make it go well, go better? Okay. Here we go. Kind of like a, like, let's it's review. Like a, yeah. Let's review, the but then let's, let's see what our focus possibly could be or, um, as we propel ourselves into 2017. Yes. Because 2017 is a 10, which is actually a one and one new beginnings, Right. But only if we learned our lessons. Otherwise, some of us are going to take that bullcrap from 2016 into 2017. When new beginnings are trying to happen, along with this baggage that you didn't, that you ignored, you distracted yourself from, um, that's just the cycle of life. All right, so here we go. Capricorn, your lesson. Whoa, was worry. Hey, there's a little worry Capricorn over here, also wearing purple. And it says, I'm learning that worry doesn't change the outcome, except for when it does. It does change it for the worse, right? Because you're, when you're worried, you're drawing in the things that you don't want, the things that you're fretting about, your anxieties, your fears. And the cool thing is, so with this, where we can kind of flip around this worry. So if you look at the color, la, da, 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 da. Um, this would be your crown chakra. So this is where your... Um, or your third eye. There's yeah. a game where they put cards on your head like this. And you just did it. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the times you can alleviate your worry. I know it sounds easier said than done, but trusting that whatever situation you were in or presently, um, if you just trust that you're exactly where you need to be, then you'll just notice that a lot of that worry will kind of just go away because you're worrying about stuff that is not in your control. So accept that. You're exactly where you need to be and everything's going to be, it's going to be okay. Because every time that you've had an issue in your past, 
like you eventually got over it. You eventually got past it. So why would this one be any different, right? And if it is different, you're not going to be around to know the difference. True, Sad but true. 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 <laughs> okay, so what can you do in 2017? Sleep more. Rest more. Don't stay up all night fretting. If that means taking a Xanax before bed, go ahead within limits. Like, don't OD. What do you got for 2017? Well, it's interesting. So as far as resting, so make sure you get that rest, but be prepared as well because you're going to need the rest because new ideas with these new beginnings in 2017, there's going to be a lot more passion filled movement. Um, that's going to happen. So you need your rest to balance all of this newness that's going to come in. It's inevitable. New Year's, it's coming. Um, so get ready. But there's going to be a lot of passion, I think, in 2017. A lot of excitement. Did you see his outfit? He's like super dressed up. You know, he's like got a, he's got a lot of flair going on. Maybe get yourself like a fancy New Year's cap. There's lizards all over it. Or gecko. gecko. I've never even noticed this before. Yeah. Um, I forget what lizards mean, though. I don't know either. I wish I knew. Okay. okay. So, Aquarius, what was your lesson? Forgiveness. Ooh. Yeah. My daughter's an Aquarius, and I tell you, she can hold a grudge. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harb harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Now, isn't that true? And the best thing about forgiveness is that, and I'm sure that a lot of you have heard this, is that... You know, if you don't forgive, then you're holding on to that resentment, and it actually, it's worse for you, because then you're just this big ball of negativity. But forgiving doesn't necessarily mean that you condone the actions or whatever it is that you're not wanting to forgive. If you can forgive, one way that will help you to forgive is understanding that everyone does the best that they can with the knowledge, wisdom, and spiritual growth that they have at that present time, okay? And even if you don't believe that... Like, you can't control what other people do, right? So what do you want to let it bug you for? You can just go on with your life. But sometimes we have a hard time forgiving ourselves as well. And that might have been your lesson this year. You know, don't beat yourself up. So in 2017, don't go um, blowing your emotions all over the place, okay? Don't be over-emotional is your advice. Don't be over emotional because as far as relationships, um, you're going to have choices to make. And if there's an over emotion, then you might miss out on an opportunity or um, you might feel like you're making the wrong decisions, but definitely don't go overboard. So kind of hold back. Don't be saying I love you, you know, after three days. I lean back. I lean back. <laughs> Do the rock away. Okay. Pisces. Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So that was the, so for Pisces, that was their. That was their lesson. Yeah. Learning to love yourself. Um, and then in 2017, it's like in order to feel more grounded, more stable, like things are predictable, you know what to expect in your life. Like that things aren't going to be coming out of left field all the time, even though that's the right side, left field. Um, you're going to want to see things from different per people's perspectives, okay? Like, turn your head all the way around. Try to understand where other people are coming from, and that creates a four, which is stability. And that's a good um, that's a good thing to remember to focus on, because there's going to be a lot of being around people and friends and celebrating and events and things of that sort that you might be... Um, you might have coming into your space different perspectives that maybe you don't understand or or get, um, but it's having an open mind and moving forward. And I think that's how you're going to make a lot of friends as well, trying to see things how other people might interpret them, um, having empathy, understanding where other people are coming from. Because remember, it said, I love myself, but then I also see myself in everyone else. So that helps you to love other people. Like when you recognize what your downfalls are, what your shortcomings are, and then you recognize those in other people, you're less likely to judge them. You can actually bond over those. Okay. Like what she said. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Aries, what was your lesson? Abundance. 
I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire into physical reality. Let me just say this about Aries. We talk about a specific Aries every once in a while because we're judgmental as F like that. Just kidding. We're not. But we do gossip about somebody. Somebody's. A couple somebody's. Point is, this Aries thinks that you have this cup, right? And this is how much love you have. And if you give this much of the love to one person, then you only have this much for everybody else. When the fact is, you have an overabundance of love. Love is limitless, right? So get that out of your head. That's your lesson this year, Aries. Not just that Aries, but every Aries. Um, you are limitless. You can manifest things limitlessly. You need to start having positive thoughts to attract the things that you want. Um, whatever you want in this reality, whether that be love, whether that be money, whether that be time, whether that be sleep, whether that be orphans, whatever you want, you can have whatever you want. Well, and definitely, um, it stands out. So for you, Aries, as far as abundance, I know that, you know, you guys are big manifestors and you can, you're almost, it's reminding me of a, an Aries that I know where this individual was able to manifest things whenever that person put their mind to it and was very aware that they could manifest that. So as far as the abundance, it's remembering that the ups and downs of 2016, you still are, a, you're, you're a really strong manifester. Okay. So remember that. Um, because as we go into 2017, yes, got this here, the moon, which is about following your gut instincts, despite what other people say. Do what you think is right. Go after what feels right for you, what's in your heart. What believe, what you believe will make you happy is what you need to manifest. Don't be worrying about what other people think. These two dogs here barking at you as you come up towards the moon, like walking towards your sunshine and happiness, doesn't matter what they say because, you know what, it's about you and what you feel. And also to piggyback onto that, um, Aries, so coming into the new year, there's going to be some choices, some really big ones that you're going to need to make. Um, as far as judgment, don't worry. It's just like what Jamie was saying, you know, don't worry about what anybody else is going to say. Um, you know, the abundance, the manifestation of what you created with the new year or within this year, you can carry that into the new year, that power based on whatever it is that you're going to be making decisions that you're going to be making, um, manifest it. You can have it, but don't worry about what other people think. Taurus honesty another purple card i can't always expect the truth from others but i can expect it from myself so that's the lesson that you learned maybe not everybody tells you the truth but you can set the example by always being honest and telling the truth you know and being true to who you are if something feels um like the right thing for you it might be difficult to express it because maybe you would wanted to cater to other people's needs but now it's time for you to do that and just do what's right for you and communicate that in 2017 um, you've also got judgment here. And so it's saying, um, you know, obviously decisions, but doing what's right for you. And then other people kind of looking at you and saying, you know what, that was scary. That was hard, but we commend you for that. And for a lot of you, that's going to be actually getting a divorce or, um, you know, and it could be a divorce from a person. It could be a divorce from a company, from a contract, from a circumstance, a situation. But it's def definitely like severing ties with something or someone. Something or someone, which possibly could be the energy of the emperor, which is actually Taurus or Aries. Um, but what I got from this card also is that going into 2017, um, maybe a less need for control, to, to control, to be controlling. Um... Not that the Emperor is a bad card, but it might hinder you in 2017 with the new beginnings that are going to be coming up. And I'm glad that you brought that up because that was what I thought as soon as you pulled it is it could be a divorce from a certain way that you live your life or a certain um, trait that you carry in which needing to control situations and outcomes. Because the more that we grasp at control over things, um, the more out of control we feel because we can't control the people around us. Gemini, friendship. It says, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Everybody comes into each other's lives for a reason. It's to teach us something, right? This, these are the lessons that we're talking about. So in 2017, do you have a lesson for Gemini? Let go of control. <laughs> I know that we just saw this card, but it just popped up again. Um, you know, with especially with the friendships card. Oh, how funny. 
This is what I have, the Three of Cups. Celebrating with friends. So maybe some of you, Geminis, um, you're meeting people who are taking you out to experience new things. Um, but maybe with that Emperor card that he's got there, you might not be having enough fun. You might be um, like, oh, I don't want to go out because everybody drinks there. I don't drink. It's well, okay to lose control every once in a while. You know, not I, to extremes. But. Or I have my job that I, you know, is really important to me. And yeah, I want to have a good time, but I really need to make sure that I'm up tomorrow morning. Well, that doesn't mean that you still can't go out, set a time when you're going to leave and stick to it. Otherwise, you know yourself, you're going to be screwed if you don't. And you're going to be really lonely if you don't take advantage of these opportunities to make friends because after a certain amount of time, people will stop asking you to hang out. You know, if you, Bobby, do you want to go out? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you're supposed to say no. Oh, no. Do you want to go out? No. Do you want to go out? No. Ring, 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 Bobby. Do you want to go out? <laughs> nice try. Hey, should we ask Bobby if he wants to go out? No, he fucking never wants to go out. He's a loser. He's boring. That's what's going to happen. Um, it says that your challenge is maybe to get some sleep, um, trying to find that balance between friendships and other responsibilities, but friendships kind of need to take center stage. Yes. Um, might be a struggle. You might fight it. That's so cool. But you got to do it. Yeah, that's so, so the card of finding the balance, keeping all of your plates in the air as you juggle them. Yes. Okay, Cancer, what was your lesson of 2016? Surrender. So many purples. 2016 was the year of the purple. Um, I can release my need to control. Wow. Wow. That's coming up a lot. Big yeah. time. Um, Maybe that was the overarching message for everybody. Overarching message, but at the same time with all this purple that keeps coming up, what I wanted to say earlier was that, you know, these things that happened in 2016, I, I think really forced a lot of us to start trusting our gut. Because when you don't, what happens? It's, oh my gosh, I knew I should have done that. Or I really wanted to do this, but I didn't. And look what happened. And it's not about like you got punished for it. It's about your intuition was telling you something. It's guiding you. That's so true. it's definitely going to be guiding you that much more in 2017. So um, so a couple things that came out here. We've got a challenge. It's challenging for you to defend yourself. Like... And understand what that means when you're learning to surrender. Because defending yourself kind of makes you feel like, oh, I need to like hold on to this last bit of control. But sometimes maybe people can say things or pass their judgments and you can just ignore them maybe as the lesson. Because you don't have to let everybody else know what's for your highest good. Just keep your mouth shut and you do you. It's like you take what you need, go, move forward, get it, get it. And just leave everything else behind. Right, Don't because even deal. It's, it's greener pastures walking away. And, you know, if you see these cups, these aren't spilt over. So it might mean having to say, you know, to people that you care about, like, hey, I have to do me. So I'm going to... Doesn't mean I don't love you, but I need to love me more right now. Yep. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And so I've been, like, I feel like in the last couple of cancer readings that I've done online, it's been um, about work a lot of times, like, oh, I need to raise my prices, and I'm afraid clients are going to leave me, or something like that. So that's how you have to frame it to them. Um, Leo, you get two purples. Oh, boy. Are we all get, of those cards purple? I know. You would think, right? Except for luck. Most of them are not actually purple. Crazy. It's year of the purple. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got acceptance and perseverance. So acceptance says, I'm learning to accept the things I can't change, letting go of control again. And perseverance, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So what do we, those are the lessons of 2016. What do we have to do to make this better in 2017? Ooh, that's a good one. Show them. Well, once we let go, you know, once we let go of control and, 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 2016 and move on basically if you focus on what it is that you truly want wishing for it this is the wish card um you can attain it that's awesome i like the yellow it's standing up big time super so. pretty just like me um so jamie <laughs> what is that card <laughs> This is the world card, but it's in reverse, saying that you're not quite to the end of the cycle by the time that 2017 comes along, okay? So a little bit of the bullshit of 2016 is going to carry over into 2017, but, 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 that's what we're using this one for, okay? 
We're making our wishes for what we want as 2017 starts. And this one says that when things change, it's going to be boom overnight. It's like one day you wake up and your life is different. It's like the people who um, post a video on YouTube and the next day they're like um, Facebook famous or you win the lottery or something like that. Okay. So just be patient. You have to have that perseverance as you wait. But then when things change, it's like boom overnight. Okay. And don't let that control creep in while you're waiting. Oh yeah. Because it's going to try. Mm -hmm. The only thing you should be controlling is your thoughts and your manifestations, your affirmations with that wish card. Okay. I like that. Virgo. 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 Oh, it's almost purple too. It's like, um, what would you call this? Periwinkle? It's <laughs> judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique paths and challenges. Okay. So that's hard to do sometimes, right? And so coming up in 2017, what maybe would be a good focus? <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's, it's ironic. So with this judgment, you know, let's focus on you. Okay. All about you and moving forward. Um, you know, taking care of yourself, your family, you uh, going to work, doing all of those things that are really grounding for you. Um, but maybe you don't do that because you're like, you know what? Everyone's going to judge me for it. Everyone thinks I'm boring. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> boring or I'm selfish. Okay. Well, boring, selfish or not, you have a job, you have your finances in order, your kids have food in their stomach and they don't have lice. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Um, and your man's happy. So it doesn't matter what anybody... So the judgment that maybe you have been giving out or you are afraid is going to come from you, stop. Just take care of you. That's but all that matters. Also take things slow. Like don't let judgment of other people... This is how I'm getting this is like a nagging mom. Like, when are you going to get married? I need grandchildren. No, 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 no. No, you, you go at your pace. You worry about what's you and what's right for you. You're, yes, you're the boss and you always have been. So what's your lesson to be in um, last year for Libras? Same thing. Judgment. I understand everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So that's less of a lesson maybe for... Um, for you giving out judgment, I don't think it's that because Libras are always, you know, seeing the, giving people the benefit of the doubt and things like that. I think this is more your own fear of other people judging you and acting in accordance to other people's expectations or what you perceive those to be. So in 2017. As you let go of those challenges with judgment, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. I think um, there's going to be like a, a small waiting period, but I think you are actually going to see... All of this judgment that you thought maybe was coming from everyone else, there's going to be lessons that you're going to learn about yourself from that. And what I get here, too, is another card of waiting. It's um, not making these huge dramatic shifts yet, but then everything's just going to work out fair for you. Everything's going to be balanced. Everything's going to be fine. So if you're out there judging others in 2016, you can expect to be judged in 2017. So you have a little bit of time here to kind of shift that before 2017 comes if you'd like to, if you don't want to have it rough. What are we on now? Uh, Scorpio? Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Somebody left me a nice comment on um, the Trump video saying that I'm really bad at my job because I drop cards on the floor. And that was a nice judgment of that person, yeah. wasn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Scorpio, another purple. Wow. And again, about control. Surrender. I can release my need to control. I feel like this deck, it must be broken. No, I think so. And this is, this is for me, and I'm sure Jamie can um, um, what's, uh, relate to it as well, is that this is the fun part as far as getting messages from angels, spirit guides, doing tarot. Is that Wearing purple. We wearing purple. We didn't plan this. The coincidence with all of this, we can call them coincidences. We can call them whatever we want, but it's fascinating to My see that. My thing is itching, and that's also purple. Yes, I am. So it's my uh, unibrow. Um, anyways, <laughs> but she's shuffling the cards. And with all of these lessons from 2016, she showed you the deck. And purple is the underlining theme for all the signs. And so. we didn't even know we were going to do this reading today. We knew we were going to do a reading, but we didn't know what the theme was going to be. And it ended up 
um, but they're all purple. Because we just kind went with interesting. just went with it. Mm -hmm. So, but they knew, right? They knew before we got here. They knew at seven a.m. and now it's like seven p.m. Um, so, what were we talking about? So, oh, Scorpios. Scorpio, yeah. Um, new exciting opportunities and adventures are coming. Like, if you're thinking about, like, if you just broke up with somebody, this is getting excited about. Um, Dating new people. This is like getting a makeover and having like actual like excitement and joy like to try new things, try new people out. Because something tells me that in that, with that, there's going to be new love coming in anyways. Yeah. So, um, whether... This guy's going to be romantic as heck. Yeah. Or a girl. Yeah. But it's probably a dude. Yeah. Possibly a water sign. Um, mm -hmm. doesn't have to be, but... He might be a little too emotional for you sometimes, but, um, super romantic, really loving. Wants to kiss you a lot. But like on your hand, you know, like, hi, nice to meet you. Oh, He's not... too gay for that. What does that mean? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sagittarius. Sag. <clears throat> Sagittarius, what's your lesson? I wrote that song for you, Sagittarius. Death. Your lesson is death. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. Hey! So what's your new beginning? I don't know, because Sagittarius, you got the wish card. So so it's whatever you want. It's whatever you want for 2017. So I know, you know, this sounds very general, but think about it. With what we're learning about 2016, what the theme was, as we're going into the year of 10, which is a one in numerology, this is a new beginning, start the year out this way and be the ultimate manifester. Manifest what you want. Like, what do you really want? What do you want? Well, what I think they want is for things to be perfect. Perfection. Look, at all, those, look at all those cups. Mm -hmm. Love. Family. You know, this is your happily ever after. And so this is you like, hey, I'm excited to go get that in 2017. While um, having totally closed the door with the death, right? Saying, okay, this is totally done and now I'm going to do something totally different. So that you can be fair to everybody involved in this. Because if you're not... Things aren't going to go anywhere. You're not going to go anywhere. So you have to make sure that you close the door on 2016, all the shit in it. Cut your cords of attachment, all that stuff, so you can step through 2017 making with, your wishes. With your wishes, because new stuff is coming in anyways. Hey. So, good riddance, 2016. <laughs> yeah. We're going to celebrate what we learned. Oh, he's trying to twerk over here, but you couldn't see it. It's twerk this way. No. They're going to like it. No. See? Twerk, 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 twerk. Ow! <laughs> anyway. Um, welcome 2017. Love and light. Happy New Year. Um, happy purple. Bye. King Triton.